The Mouse and the Frog Once upon a time lived a mouse and a frog who were the best of friends. The frog liked to talk to his mouse friend so much that he would hop out of his pond each morning at 8 a.m. to visit his mouse friend's house. It was not a big house. It was just a medium-sized cozy hole in the side of a tree about 20 minutes away. They would talk about interesting or funny topics, have breakfast together, and by 11 a.m. the frog would say goodbye and hop on home. The mouse was certainly a very happy mouse. He was so delighted about his frog friend's daily visit that he was unaware that his friend was slowly getting more and more upset with him with each passing month. The frog was slowly turning into an enemy more than into a close friend, but the mouse had no idea what was going on. Why was the frog getting more and more unhappy? You may ask. Well, the frog felt hurt because although he visited the mouse every single day, the mouse had never once made an offer to come visit him at his house. No, not even once. Why is mouse hesitant to come to my house? Does mouse think that I live in a smelly house? Is my house too low class? Is mouse embarrassed to be seen in public with me? Does mouse think I'm penniless and I can't afford to feed him? There were too many questions being raised in the frog's head. One day, the frog felt that he had been humiliated enough. So, during that day's visit, he decided to do something drastic. Throughout breakfast, the frog secretly tied one end of a string around his own leg and he sneakily tied the other end to the mouse's tail. And when the clock struck 11 a.m., the frog quickly stood up and hopped away dragging the helpless and shocked mouse behind him. Soon the frog reached his pond and dived deep into it. The mouse tried to free himself but couldn't, and soon he sadly drowned. His poor, tired body floated to the top. Within minutes, a muscular hawk flew by and sputtered the mouse's body that was floating on the pond's shimmering surface. The hawk swooped down swiftly, grabbing the mouse in his talons, and flew to the branch of a nearby tree. The frog, of course, he was hauled out of the water too. He desperately tried to free himself, but he simply couldn't do it. The hawk couldn't believe how great his day was. As he laughed heartily, he soon put an end to the frog's struggles by having the frog for dinner after eating the mouse for lunch. In Africa, they have a saying that goes, don't dig to dig a pit for your enemy, you may fall into it yourself. Phrases to understand. Di sini ada kalimat-kalimat yang uh, untuk dimengerti. Ya. Terjemahannya tidak kaku. Once upon a time artinya pada zaman dahulu, hop out of his pond, melompat dari kolamnya. A medium sized cozy hole artinya lubang sederhana yang nyaman. Interesting or funny topics, hal-hal yang menarik atau lucu. He was so delighted. Dia sangat senang atau dia sangat bahagia. ya. Jadi terjemahannya tidak kata per kata. Kemudian selanjutnya, he was unaware, dia tidak sadar. Slowly turning into an enemy artinya perlahan menjadi musuh. Atau slowly artinya bisa juga pelan-pelan. Made an offer to come, menawarkan untuk berkunjung, untuk datang. ya. He had been humiliated enough, ia telah cukup terhina. He desperately tried to free himself. Dia mati-matian mencoba membebaskan dirinya. Nah, uh, itu ya kalimat-kalimat dari cerita pendek yang sudah dibacakan. Semoga bermanfaat. Uh, terima kasih sudah menonton sampai selesai. Jangan lupa subscribe, follow, dan share, komen uh, untuk masukannya. Sampai jumpa di lain waktu. Thank you. See you. See you in the next video.